Hello friends, welcome back. My name is PK. In this video, we will show you how we have created this beautiful supply chain management dashboard in Microsoft Excel. As you are seeing my screen, this is the overview page and here we have created total orders and on time deliveries percentage in this semicircle chart. And this is the return order percentage, fulfillment order percentage and the correct order was delivered and this is the number of orders, correct orders and this is total orders. Here we have given some slicers also to filter the data like you can see the data for any specific month accordingly whole dashboard will be filtered and you can see the supply name also you can see that is being filtered warehouse location or shipping method like by air rail you can select that also and the product category you can see everything is getting changed so here we are showing the return orders percentage by the supplier name and this is the on time deliveries by the warehouse location fulfillment order percentage by the product category on the left hand side we have given a navigation pan you can see so you can simply click on the supplier analysis to go to the supplier analysis page now this is the supplier analysis page you can see here all the charts and everything is changed now we are showing here total order by the supply name then this is on time deliveries by the supply name and here we are showing again the same slicer so you can select any warehouse so it will show the information for that supplier on the basis of selected warehouse return orders by the supply name and here we are showing the fulfilled order percentage by the supply name this is the correct orders by supply name you can select any product category also so that accordingly it will show the information next we can see the warehouse location wise analysis also so let's click here this is the warehouse location analysis and we are showing here total orders by the warehouse location this is the return order percentage by the warehouse location we have maximum return in the los angeles that is 8.3 and less is in this one we are showing here on time delivery by the warehouse location on this disk pie chart and again here we have the same slicer so you can select any product category you can select any month accordingly whole dashboard will be filtered this is the fulfillment order percentage by the warehouse location we are showing on this running man chart and this is the correct order by the warehouse location now the next is the product category you can just click here to go to the product category page and in the product category we are showing here on time delivery by the product category return order percentage by the product category and again the same slicer to see the month on month data you can just select any month correct order by the product category and total order by the product category here we are showing the on time deliveries by the product category now the next is monthly trend and this is the on time del deliveries by the month so we can see here month on month information this is a return order by the month and this is correct order by the month here we are showing the fulfilled order by the month on this beautiful glass chart and this is the total order by the month again you can select any product category to see the trend of a particular product category and you can select any warehouse also to see the trend uh, by monthly trend for a particular warehouse also all right so this is totally dynamic and this is a ready to use dashboard you can just uh, input your data i will show you how you can input your data first let's uh, make the data sheet visible if you are using the pk's utility tool this tool is absolutely free and you can download it from our website then you can just say so hide seat tab then all the seat tabs are visible if you are not using this then in that case you can go to the files options advanced and then scroll it down and just check this option that is so seat tab available display option for this workbook so this is uh, display option for this book, workbook and it will show the workbook name and it is available here on the third position just click on that so we can see all the seat tabs here now we have a data sheet in the data sheet we have this information like record id then we have here dates supply name warehouse location shipping method product category 
then we have here some other information like total orders on time delivery correct order return order fulfillment order then month and year month we have created on the basis of date we have here date so we have just used the text function and put here mmm thrice so we are getting the month similarly we have created year using the text function coming to the support sheet we have created this support sheet on the basis of data sheet so first you in need to input the data here so these two are the formulas so what you can do you can remove this data and in the same format just put your data here and once your data is available then you can adjust the formulas accordingly and then go to the data tab here and just say refresh all as you click on refresh all all the pages will be refreshed automatically according to your data now coming to the support sheet let me explain you the support sheet also here we have created various pivot table to create the different charts here as well as the these cards and this semicircle chart and other chart and for the next page also so we have created for all the pages first page is the overview we have put here this text here as overview so that means these all the pivot table are for overview page till here then we are creating the pivot table for supplier analysis so these all the pivot tables are for the supplier analysis then from here we are creating for the warehouse location analysis then this is the product category analysis and from here we have created for the monthly trend so all the keywords are for by the month you can see so this is what we have created now to create the pivot table you can simply go to the data sheet and just click anywhere you can see this is a table so that means when you update your data here automatically at, it will be the part of the table and uh, whenever you refresh the pivot table it will automatically consider the new data from the table design you can simply click on summarize with pivot table and let's say on the new worksheet just click here so you can create the pivot table as per your requirement for example i want to show the supply name wise total orders then you can change the design as you want let's say i'm taking this one so that is how we have created these all pivot tables we have created some calculated fields also you can just click here then go to the field items and sets and calculated field you can see all the calculated fields here we have created so some we have created to create the charts or you can simply see all the calculated fields formulas just go to the field item and set and just say list formulas so it will create a new sheet to show all the formulas here whichever we have used now let's say here we have used the on time deliveries uh, which is the 72 percent so you can see here on time deliveries formula is on time deliveries divided by total orders okay then here we are showing the transparent area for the on time deliveries that is here you can see on time delivery transparent area one minus one means 100 percent minus on time deliveries so what we are saying to create this semicircle chart we have created some support calculated fields also so for example to create that chart we have created this support c support p support uh, calculated field and this is the man calculated field okay now same in the semicircle chart we will put the 50 percent part also so we have created this third one so this is what we are showing here we just have changed the name here you can just simply change the name as you want so let me show you if i create them here on this let's say if i remove this and this one also then if you scroll it down you will get everything here right you can search also if you want so what i'm doing here on time deliveries let's put this here okay and then on time deliveries transparent area then on time delivery semicircle okay so we have put this here now you can just move this values from column to rows so we can see this one now if you want to change this like uh, i want to keep only transparent area i can simply delete this and hit the enter so that is changed okay you can change this uh, in the percentage also from here or you can just use double click and then number format and then take the percent and just click on okay so that is how you can change double click percent and okay mm -hmm.
this one also okay so we can see all in percentage then we can simply select this go to the insert and insert a donor chart this one let's go to the pivot chart analyze field buttons and just say hide all so we can see it is like a normal chart just click on this chart right click go to the format data series first angle of the first slice we should take here 240 degree and donut hole size let's take uh, around 60 or 65 okay. now we don't need this lesion we can remove this just select this go to the format save fill as no fill save outline as no outline this one and then for this below section this slice double click and just say no fill and for this one for slice let's fill here this green color or you can choose any other color then go again on the save fill go to the gradient this time and let's take this gradient now select this one again and just fill the same color here and then go to the save fill again and go to the more fill color and let's make this color slightly lighter so that is how we have created this type of semicircle chart then you can insert here a text box and you can just drag that text box here click on the outline of the text box formula bar equal to and just select this value hit the enters align this center center and in the format you can remove the shape outline of this text box as no outline and say fill as no fill you can make this bold and bigger all right so that is how we have created these type of semicircle chart and to create this type of design these all are rectangles you can see we just have created the simple rectangles and the text boxes if you want to learn more about uh, this type of dashboard how to create the all pivot table calculated fields and this type of advanced level chart you can join our course we have given the link in the video's description box all right friends friends i hope you have enjoyed this video if you like this video please hit the like button and please subscribe my channel to get the regular update of my videos thank you so much for the watching